Hello, this is Miss Beth, and today I'm reading a story called Captain Starfish for our Bedtime Story series. Captain Starfish is written by Davina Bell and illustrated by Allison Colpoise and published by Abrams Books for Young Readers. The day before the underwater dress-up parade, Alfie got that feeling. It was the same feeling he'd had before the running races when he was sure that he'd come in last. It was the same feeling he'd had before Antoinette's reptile party and he was worried about the musical chairs. It wasn't a nice feeling. Alfie had his costume ready. He had practiced wearing it while he marched around the living room, pretending he was in the school hall leading the parade. You look nice, Alfie, Mom had said in a very proud voice. You'll be the star, Dad had said and winked his eye. You're brave, Alfie had said to himself. You're brave enough to be Captain Starfish. But it wasn't really true. Alfie hadn't gone to the running races. He had stayed hidden under his blanket. Even when it got hot and itchy, Alfie had only gotten halfway to Antoinette's reptile party before he'd asked his mom to turn the car around. He had hidden Antoinette's present away, but sometimes it poked out and Alfie got that feeling again. Before bed... Mom gave Alfie's forehead an extra long kiss. Sleep well, Captain Starfish, said Dad, as he switched on the nightlight. But Alfie didn't sleep well. In the night, he dreamed. And they weren't nice dreams. He dreamed about a big angry octopus with a tiny hat. He dreamed about a hissing sea snake and a spiky puffer fish and not being able to get out of a bubble. He dreamed that he was carrying the ocean all on his own. In the morning, Alfie curled up like a hedgehog. His tummy hurt. I'm not brave enough to be Captain Starfish, he whispered to the cowboys on his wallpaper. Mom came in and sat on the bed, and Alfie said to her, I can't. He turned to look at her face and said, Please don't be angry. But Mom wasn't angry. When you're dressed, Alfie, she said, we're going somewhere special. They went to the aquarium. Everything there was shimmery and beautiful. There was a tunnel under the ocean where you could stand on a moving sidewalk. That was where Alfie saw a starfish. It was blue and white and perfect, just like his costume. Alfie looked down at his sneakers. All around him, the ocean felt as heavy as the world. Just then, a little fish popped out of a coral forest down near the ocean floor. Its fins reminded Alfie of a tiny butterfly. It came right up to the glass and wiggled at Alfie, and Alfie whispered, Hello. Then it swam straight back to the coral forest. Alfie watched and waited, but it didn't come out again. Alfie thought about the orange fish with the friendly wiggle all the way home. He came out, but only for the tiniest second, said Alfie. I think he smiled at me. Sometimes clownfish need to hide away, said Mom. It's just what they do. People, too, said Alfie, thinking of the dress-up parade, which didn't seem quite so scary now. Mom nodded. Yes, people, too. It was so late when they arrived that Dad had already run the bath. Dad, said Alfie, I wasn't Captain Starfish, but it doesn't matter. Not at all, agreed Dad. Maybe next year, said Alfie. Next year, I'm going to dress up as a clownfish, Alfie told the cowboys on his wallpaper. And that's just what he did. The End <laughs>